Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Do you have perennial allergy symptoms or non-allergic rhinitis? In this video, I'll share what are volatile organic compounds, their health risks and exposure symptoms, VOC versus TVOC, and reducing VOC exposure. Making homes more energy efficient has increased indoor air pollution. In addition to dust, there can be dozens of volatile organic compounds. Some are natural, like the fragrance from flowers and herbs, the aroma of fresh baked bread, and frying foods below the smoke point of fats and oils. Perfumes and essential oils are VOCs. Plants are a major source of natural VOCs. Most indoor VOCs are synthetic. They come from furniture, paint and varnish, aerosol sprays, dry clean clothes, flooring, gas stove and heaters, building materials, air fresheners, essential oils, cleaners, and disinfectants. High VOC concentrations leaves a visible film on indoor windows. The faster the film builds up, the more VOCs in your home. High levels of harmful indoor VOCs can aggravate or cause serious health problems. One example is chlorine bleach. It's a powerful disinfectant but can also cause chlorine poisoning. Dust masks and respirators are ineffective against VOCs. Health risks include irritate eyes, nose, and throat, headaches, loss of coordination, nausea, damaged liver and kidneys, damaged central nervous system, and increased cancer risk. Harmful high VOC products have warnings to use in well-ventilated areas. Symptoms of high VOCs include nose and throat irritation, stuffy or runny nose, cough, headache, nausea or vomiting, difficulty breathing, nosebleeds, fatigue, dizziness, and allergic skin reaction. If you experience symptoms of high VOC exposure, go to another room or outside until you are symptom-free and then increase ventilation. Seek emergency medical care if the symptoms persist or worsen. TVOC stands for Total Volatile Organic Compounds. Unlike expensive professional meters that measure a single VOC in parts per million, low-cost consumer meters measure indoor TVOCs in milligrams per meter cubed. Since VOC molecule size varies, there's no simple conversion from milligrams per meter cubed to parts per million. Also, consumer TVOC meters do not separate harmful and harmless VOCs. Some air conditioning companies use consumer TVOC meters to sell whole house air particle filters that do not remove VOCs. You do not need to spend thousands of dollars for whole house air filters to reduce indoor VOCs. Most whole house air filters use ultraviolet C and ozone generators to remove particulates and kill viruses. UVC and ozone do not remove VOCs. HEPA air filters remove small dust particles, but not VOCs. To remove VOCs, you need odor-reducing activated carbon filters or pre-filters. Adequate ventilation 
is the best way to prevent high indoor VOC levels. When possible, open doors and windows to reduce indoor VOC levels. Place fans near an open door or window to bring in outside air or remove indoor air. Use low VOC paints on interior surfaces. Use unscented, non-aerosol, low VOC cleaners. Open doors and windows for an hour or more a day if you notice strong odors from new carpeting and furniture. Run exhaust fans when cleaning bathrooms with high VOC cleaners. Use a VOC respirator when working with high VOC paints and chemicals. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching.